So I'm recording this video blog this week from my mother's backyard. So I'm in her beautiful fernery out on her deck. And this week I would really like to share the importance of anchoring your dreaming. And I know a lot of people would be thinking, well, what exactly is your dreaming? What is it? So for me, my dreaming is these amazing articulate visions that I have of my future and possible realities that I may create for myself and they can change from time to time as I grow and evolve and my needs change and my family grows and evolves and their needs change but usually there's one or two really big big dreams that are kind of constant and one of mine is to be able to help co-create an amazing amazing sacred arts community like my ultimate goal would be for everybody to really stand in their power, whether that's through the ways of being a conscious, a conscious entrepreneur or working in permaculture or social activism and reclaiming the land. And, I mean, my ultimate dream would be if there was a philanthropist out there that had a shitload of money would just be to buy land and to give it to people to then live and, and cultivate the soil and grow food and crops and sustain that for nature. And well, not only sustaining, making it regenerative so that, you know, there's a security there in the land that we are from the land and that we continue to evolve our connections with the land, you know, standing with the mother, the great mother of us all, which is Gaia or Pachamama, depending on the language that you like to use. So um, what I find is a really beautiful tool is when that stroke of inspiration comes through or you feel like you're starting to dance with the muse and for me the way it comes through is it's usually when I'm about to go to sleep or if I'm in a really quiet meditative state, I'll feel this energy kind of come through and penetrate my consciousness. And generally it's a stream of words or this download, I guess, and it's, it comes through in this thread. And I find that if I don't anchor it and put it down onto paper or to write it or to bring back that symbol, then I lose the essence of what it was in the moment of that inspiration coming to pass. And if it's not anchored, what I find is that that energy is going to find another channel to go through and it'll probably match like with like, so somebody that has a similar essence or energy to you, but it's going to weave in a different way based on that particular person's journey and experience. So if there's something epic and amazing that you know it's your role to birth in this world then I really want to reach out to you and, and say hold that vision like the most powerful thing that we can do as conscious co-creators is really hold the vision of this amazing beautiful abundant creative connected world that we all want to live in and nurture that like a seed and what I like to do in my own practice with this big dreaming that I have is I'm very discerning on who I talk to about it. There, you know, there's an essence about it, like the basic fundamentals of what I just share with you, but there's other pathways to that and other threads and facets to it that I hold so close to my heart. And the reason why I do that is because I don't want to taint the energy of sharing it too soon when I'm not entirely sure of the pathway, the best pathway that I can birth that with integrity or if it's even meant to come through me. You know, sometimes I, I open up to these amazing dreaming and these strikes of inspiration, I guess, and I know that it's not for me to do, it's not my role and it's not my place, it's not my niche. It's one of the things they teach you in permaculture is that, you know, everything has a niche and it's finding your niche. And, you know, if you have this really beautiful idea and you know that it's not your role, then perhaps seek out somebody who would be best suited to be of service to that dreaming so that they can bring it through with integrity and passion and love and that drive to create. Um, 
because all, all too often I, I find that we can hold on to things like I don't know there's this must be a, a byproduct of a consumer or capitalist mentality or society that we oh, that's a great idea I can make shitload of money off that I'll hold on to that and then nothing happens with it and the energetics around money kind of fizzle out, but the social context of the impact that it could have that could be so massive and life-changing doesn't happen because, one, you probably lose the energy or the momentum to do it because it's probably not your niche. Or two, you feel like you don't have the funds to be able to do that, so you get a little bit disheartened and disempowered. Or three, it might not have been meant for you in the first place. You could have just had your antenna out there and picked up on something and gone, aha, that's an awesome idea, and then sat with it and then realised, oh, actually, that's too big for me, or no, I don't resonate with that anymore. So I challenge everybody to really check in with your dreaming and what your purpose is. And if you don't know what your purpose is, then start to explore and have fun experimenting with what that could be. There's a myriad of different expressions for creation that you could have. You know, it doesn't always have to be in this grand artistic vision or, you know, this doing or this business, you know, it could just be um, reaching people on a, a very ordinary level and that can be so profound you know your role could just be to go out there and give free hugs to everybody or to offer smiles when you go out into the world or to you know create that eye connection whatever it is just have fun exploring with it and explore your dreaming further and just check in you know when you write it down you can find pathways for practical solutions of the house how are you actually going to implement this how are you going to achieve this mammoth goal how are you going to birth your dreaming into being how 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 is always the magic word and so if you find that you have a multiple different goals or you know dreams that you wish to fulfill just write them down and prioritize which one that you'd like to focus your energy on because if you have too many eggs in your basket, <laughs> it becomes too overwhelming. You know, when your chickens hatch at once and you're just like, ah. It's like having 20 different toddlers, I guess. And it's like, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess I could really elaborate further on that, but I wanted to keep this video really short and I'll probably articulate that a little bit better. But that's what I felt to just bring through today. And. Yeah, I wish everybody a really beautiful 2014. The energy for me is really different. Like 2013 was had some deep medicine in it, a lot of learning and weaving and peeling back layers. But yeah, there's something in magic about the start of this year that I'm feeling. It's so like, it's time, you know, it's really time to step up and embody the world that you wish to see, you know, embody that change and be it and create it because we can't rely on other people to do it <laughs> and also when we when we go into the realms of dreaming dreaming up our own utopia i guess that we're giving ourselves permission to help co-create this most beautiful world because if we're not going to do it we're just going to follow a blueprint from somebody else and it's going to be dictated to us how we should and should not live our lives and i for one know that this model that's in practice at the moment, this social model, and I know that I live in Australia and we're a very lucky country, but so from my perspective, based on my reality here, we can do so much better. We can do so much better for the world. And yeah, I really just urge everybody to sink in to that magic place. So what does that world look like for you? What is that ultimate dream that you'd like to create for not only yourself, but for other people and for these children, you know, the next 20 generations. Because we can do this. We've got this. It's not that hard, particularly if we all merge our talents and our, and our beauty and our magic and our dreaming together, then we can create this really beautiful paradise here on Earth. It's not that hard. Mwah.